Why do we obey authority even when it's not in our own interests to do so? Why do we sometimes submit to the will of the tyrant, the one who enslaves and abuses us, uh, even though without our obedience, his power would be nothing? So asked the French humanist scholar Etienne de La Boissy in the middle of the 16th century. And in asking this seemingly naive and simple question, the question of why we obey, he opened up, I think, one of the fundamental enigmas of politics, which is that of voluntary obedience or voluntary servitude. Classical anarchism, the anarchism of the 19th century, assumes that man desires freedom, that we uh, as individuals have a kind of a natural predis predisposition towards freedom. We desire freedom, we seek freedom, uh, and yet because of the external constraints imposed by the state and its coercive violence and because of the forces of the law and these various kinds of external restrictions, our quest for freedom is at some level hampered or restricted. I think what Le Boissy uh, does is to suggest that this might be a more fundamental problem, that at some level we might actually desire our own domination, our own servitude, our own enslavement, that we may not necessarily want to be free, that we might have actually abandoned the will to be free. If power is simply sustained by our obedience, then power in a way is an illusion. Power is nothing. Power does not actually exist. Power only exists because we obey it. Power only exists, power only exists because we voluntarily participate in it and in doing so actually create power in the first place. Uh, and what this does is actually introduce a kind of a fundamental ontological instability into the very foundations of power. So what Le Boissy suggests is that if we simply resolve to be free, if we simply reclaim our will to be free, then power, the illusion of power simply disappears. The hold that power has over us simply vanishes. <music>